Hello everybody out there, this is Maria with Desert Cloud Soapworks and today I'm going to show you how to make an everlasting gobstopper soap based on the candy from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and what we're going to do is the original one, not those little round ones you can buy in the store you know the actual candies but the one that is kind of spiky looking from the original movie to start what you want is a tray like this this is a silicone ice cube tray it works great for this project I found this at Walmart so if you have a chance to head over to your local Walmart and find this that would be awesome if you have something that's similar that works too but that's where I picked it up so just letting you guys know where I found the supplies what you're gonna do is fill up six of these squares each one with a different color soap and then a separate square you can go ahead and make that one uh, any color you would like and that final square is going to the seventh square is gonna be helping you get the um, middle of our gobstopper to blend in with the rest of it alright I got my soaps poured this is gonna be my extra one right here and just pop them out so when you love silicone molds, they come out perfect. Your extra one, we're just going to set that to the side. We are going to be remelting the uh, the extra one. That's why I didn't take too much in mixing. I actually made a little bit of soap and then added some white to it. That's why it's marbled right now. But that's okay because it is going to be melted down again. We just wanted to get the portion right. What we need right now is some freezer paper. So let me get some freezer paper out here. You're going to want to take four of your pieces. Let's do this one. We're going to line them up like so. Two are going to be closer to each other. And you're going to want to compress these together the best you can without squishing the soap just to get a good seal going. Make sure that they're as straight as you can possibly get them. That extra cube, that's where this comes into play. Find your container, melt down your extra cube. This part is a little tricky. If it starts leaking out from under the bottom, that's okay because these colors are going to be shaved down anyways to get the final look of the soap. But try and get it as tight as possible. Take your melted down soap and pour it in the middle. Now on this freezer paper, remember it's shiny side up. Okay, as you can see it's starting to leak out. That's alright. It'll work fine. You just have to have patience with it. If you have a mold that is just the right fit to put these in to get this achieve this, then I highly recommend using that because this is kind of a pain in the butt. But the end result is pretty darn cool. And just hold it until it sets enough to where it's not going to leak out anymore. Now that this has set up enough, let's peel it off of the freezer paper. Came off really nice. <laughs> I mean, that's why I love using the freezer paper because it just comes off so so well. Now you see all those mistakes right there. That's what we're gonna clean up. All right, let's cut this off. I'm using a razor knife to do this. If you don't have one, you can use your uh, soap cutter. That works too. But I'm just getting these pieces off because they are gonna be remelted. At this point, what you want to start doing is trim up the edges. So what I mean by that is an everlasting gobstopper from the movie comes out in spikes. So you're going to come in and cut on an angle down. See? And just shape it up. It's real easy to do. Especially when you have a razor knife like this. Alright, I have it trimmed up just a little bit now. 
Uh, the reason why I did it now is because it's going to be a lot easier to do these at this point in the game rather than do it when it's all together. So now that that's done, I scored my edges here and time to take the scraps and melt them down. I have a whisk here of rubbing alcohol. I'm going to kind of fill this up a little bit. This side, because some leaked out, did not get filled up all the way. So I'm just going to fill it up a little. Take my other side. Spray. I'm going to set this right on top. Push down. Just hold it there until it starts to set. Now with that side done, we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. A little spritz of rubbing alcohol. I'm using a paintbrush actually on this side to get some soap on here. This is a brush that I use specifically for soaping, so I suggest you, whatever brush you use, just get one that you're using specifically for this kind of project. The brush also is nylon bristles, not camel hair. And just put the two sides together again. And squeeze. And hold it there till it sets. Since it's such a little bit amount of soap, it'll set up pretty darn quick. It's set on both sides, and now I'm going to continue to trim these as well. At this point, this is what your gobstopper should look like. Alright, we still have some spots here around basically the weld of every facet and piece on here that needs to be uh, taken care of. But right now, take the opportunity you have to clean up these edges on here and get them... Um, pretty uniform around the entire gobstopper. If you want to see the technique I am doing with this, I'm just basically going up and down around it, okay? So let's take this blue one right here, for example. Starting from the top. And I just slowly make my way around. Sometimes you gotta make a little more of a deeper cut to get it uniform. And of course if you're using these, if you're gonna make these to sell, you gotta wear gloves, you know. But this one's not gonna be sold, so that's why I can get away without not wearing gloves. With it all cleaned up, what we're gonna do now is take care of the edges. We're gonna make those a little cleaned up. You could do this with clear soap if you wanted to. Personally, I'm going to use the purple and get it to go across just kind of seam it all the way around do whatever color you feel you you like on it now after doing it like this you could also add a clear coat to it that's where you get your clear base get a bunch of clear base melt it down and what we're going to do is we're going to wait for this to be the right temperature of course so this doesn't melt we're gonna dunk and then quickly set on some freezer paper and let it sit there harden up and any drips or anything that are on the bottom will of course just be easily trimmed off so let's see what that comes out like I got my clear crystal clear coat uh, soap here melted down what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the gobstopper I'm gonna roll it around real quick and then set it out I'm going to make sure to spray with rubbing alcohol too to get rid of any bubbles that might try to develop on the surface. So ready? Here we go. Real quick. Alright. Okay, now that I got it taken off there, I cleaned off the excess uh, clear soap and I got a paper towel here with some rubbing alcohol on it and I'm just smoothing it out. You want to use rubbing alcohol instead of water because you'll end up with a bunch of sudsy bubbles if you use water. Rubbing alcohol works wonders. Looks great! 
Everlasting Gobstopper Soap, guys. Is that cool or what? I love it. These are so cool. Yeah, totally. If they ever came out with a mold on making these, I would want that so bad. But for the time being, I gotta do it the hard way, right? But the end result is awesome. It's a really cool uh, soap that is, it's unusual. So, I mean, if you have your own shop and everything, I know it takes some time to make these, but if you've got a bunch of them that you're doing at once, then you can just, you know, do them all step by step and uh, get a bunch made. All right, let me tell you about this little announcement I have for you. Um, many of you out there don't know that I have a Patreon. And what Patreon is, it's basically kind of like a tip system where, you know, how you tip your cab driver, your your uh, waiter, kid that mows your lawn. It, it works the same way. It helps me bring better and better videos to you by getting the supplies to make everything. And we all know, I mean, it costs money to buy uh, bases, melt and pour bases, the fragrances, the, the soap coloring, and if I'm doing bath bombs, citric acid, everything that's involved with bath bombs, or even cold process soap, that even gets a little bit more expensive with all the oils, the lye, and everything that has to be used for that. So Patreon helps offset the cost of this for me so I can keep bringing you guys tutorials and, and really fun videos and new ideas. So if you'd like to, the the link to Patreon is in the description of this video and it'll be in every video there on out. Prior to this video, I would say, you know, thanks to my patrons um, on the end of my videos and it had the address, it was Sweet Insanity on there, but it, it's not there anymore. I switched it to directly Desert Cloud Soap Works. So it's patreon.com uh, forward slash, I believe, Desert Cloud Soap Works. But the link is in the description of this video. You can go over there and you can pledge however much you'd like to pledge. Um, there's different tier levels as well. On what you pledge, you get certain rewards, certain bonuses. Everybody who pledges at least $1 will get their name in the credits of every video as a supporter of Desert Cloud Soap Works. And it really means a lot to me. Um, if you go for the $5 level, then you get access to any tutorial video at least up to a day early. Um, sometimes it could be two days early. So you've seen it before everybody else. And you're eligible for giveaways and all kinds of stuff. You get shout outs. There's a lot of different stuff with the tier levels. So that way you guys are getting something back as well. But I can't stress enough that just at the dollar level you do get your name in the credits as a supporter. So that's pretty cool. And again, thank you guys so much for watching my tutorials. I am so close to hitting 5,000 subscribers right now, and that wouldn't have happened without all of you guys. So thank you so much. All right, well, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, keep watch for some new ones, some updates, and hey, if you are gonna join Patreon, there's gonna be videos that are for patrons only that are gonna go on there, okay? And there's gonna be behind the scenes stuff, you know, additional footage, diff additional ideas, all kinds of stuff that's just strictly for patrons. So hop on over to Patreon too, and uh, you'll, you'll go, you, you, you won't regret it. Let's put it that way, you'll enjoy it. Okay, well this is Maria with Desert Cloud Soapworks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.